Tas Dingo! Yes! <laughs> Hey guys, Jared here, aka Miso Honey, back in with another video, and hey, sticking the standard still. I'm uh, going to have a few videos here. I don't know how many more I'm going to do with this standard because I'm going to be on vacation for a short period of time here during Thanksgiving, and then shortly after that we're going to have the set release and new decks to talk about at that point anyway, uh, but definitely be continuing these you know, videos with reviews. But I have what I believe to be the best deck in Standard right now. And that's uh, XL Secret Rogue. Secret Rogue picked up a kind of a, uh, a pick-me-up, a Botox injection, so to speak, with the mini set and Perjury. It gave it just enough, just enough of a reason to play Private Eye. Uh, remember, I put this card at number three in the uh, Castle Nathria release uh, top ten. I put it as either, I think it was number three or number four. Uh, and it did not see play at all up until the mini set release. So it has kind of given it a remaking and the disruption that a card like Ghastly Grave Digger, especially whenever you're shadow stepping it. Uh, gives you is just uh, a bonus here. It, it is disruption that we haven't really seen in Hearthstone too much, where you're kind of making your opponent literally just discard cards. And then you have some bonkers starts that you could do with Queen Ashara and possibly like turn fouring Queen Ashara, turn fiving a Colossal to kind of steamroll your opponent with. And then you contraband stash, so on and so forth. Uh, on top of that, you have your usual jackpot and swift scale trickster combo. Uh, you also have good old sprint in the deck. Uh, I think the health, the format's like pretty healthy right now. I know a lot of people are, are bored of this format, but I think it's actually pretty healthy right now. Whenever you're seeing a card like sprint C play in the meta, like I think it's actually pretty good. I think there's enough interaction to make the games interesting, and uh, I do wish that the Nathrius would get nerfed, because it seems like that's what the games entail, like, matter on, is do you have the Nathrius or do you not? Uh, but, yeah, anyway, let's continue down the list here, because we also have the Sunwell in this deck. The Sunwell uh, is something that I read wrong whenever I first read this card. I thought each spell you got from this cost one less for each card in your hand, which would be even more bonkers, and the initial cost of this would always be nine. But now it's the it's vice versa, which in this deck it actually makes it a little bit better. Uh, so you can like turn three this as long as you can like ditch a, ditch a card from your hand, or you don't mind burning a card. Uh, but yeah, this card is just like that extra additional value that you can you have for this deck. And that's not to mention, like, obviously you can get cards off of Reconnaissance. The one thing to mention here with Knights of the Frozen Throne in Jackpot does get better and worse. You have, like, Ultimate Infestation, but you also have cards like Embrace the Darkness from Priest that uh, are not exactly great. But anyways, here we're going to get into the games here. Hopefully you enjoy the video. If you do, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next vid. Peace. Not... Shadow steps. What is it? This is not a good matchup. Well, correction, it would not be a good matchup for him if I was actually a mage. Um, they typically can't resist doing that, so I'm actually going to go ahead and play my card now and reveal the room. They can't really take their turn three off. Or if they do, it's 
actively good for me. This is fine. Actually, that's perfect. I can slap this and tooth it. Actually, I probably slap this, do this, do this. What are these spells? I don't even really want to do that. I wonder if I just wait a turn. Or maybe I'm supposed to just play the, the web weave. Nice. So now I know it's minion. Does he have a two mana kill spell? Or one drop doggy biscuit. It would have to be peasant. The web weave being in the pool is actually half decent because this game usually is all around board control. Problem is, is he's kept a card in his hand since turns one, two, and three. So one of these has to be in the death risk, probably, if I had to imagine. I have no time for games. Hmm. I wonder if I play this Shadow Step It. I don't want to really play this card. Nine cards in my hand. So I think I have to play this. That's eight. I'm going to get rid of one, but I'm going to gain one. I can't even do it that way. Man, I literally have to do it like this. I have to burn a card. But I only have to burn one, right? I can, like, burn a tooth here. And that's fine. My hand is full. Oh, that's a bad one to burn. Alright, let's hit it like a two mana... Nice. Counter spell is like pretty useless here, so it's gonna be print this. <clears throat> so now I have the web weave in the bag. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? A lot of the deck lists, a lot of the hunter deck lists have cut school teacher because they've realized that some of the other stuff is just better in the mirror. He seems pretty adamant about this though. I would like to go like crab. I would like really love to go crab and then go scabs the following turn. And get the crab back. I have no time for games. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Yeah. 
he really likes to take like rope his full turns. There's not a lot of decisions to be made here. So I have a decision to be made. Do I want to shadow step this crab? I think the answer is no. I think I I would much rather shadow step this Tess. <clears throat> this, this Tess has enough in it. These don't have a rush rate. Death, it's just death rattle if you control a hydro one, yeah. Alright, so... Now I just trade... Send these all back to his hand. And then we'll set up for playing a test. I have to be careful what's going back into my hand, though, too, right? Like, I can only take two cards back into my hand right now. I can only take one card back into my hand. Alright, so we're gonna trade like this. Either take counter spell or freezing trap. I'm gonna take the freezing trap here. I'm really tempted to shadow step this too, but I don't think it's shadow step. Nice, that was a good burn. I can take a control of that too. Now I am gonna shadow step this, because I'm gonna take control of this. He's going to rope his turn again, because this is what he's been doing the entire game. But that is okay. I can check up on some stuff in the meantime. I have no time for games. So I'm going to shadow step this, because I don't... Actually, I'm not. I'm probably not going to shadow step this. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just going to... I'm just going to coin and do this. And we'll allow him to go after that. He's kind of making his own problems. By just wasting time here. I don't know why you have this in your deck, my guy. That's actually pretty good. I can actually just kill this now, right? Yeah, let's just go ahead, right? Like we know we know what we're getting into now. So this is pretty nice.
I can actually just go ahead, bump this twice, pump up my thing. I can also just take control of this, right? Like the uh, the priest spell has to target an enemy minion, right? It's All not a may. Choose an enemy minion at the start of your turn to control of it, yeah. And I can actually steal a card from this hand then too. Actually, if it gets freezing trapped, it's gonna die. I don't even need to use my hero power. I, I'm gonna use my hero power though. There's no reason not to. All these cards suck. I don't even care about the Rat King. I don't want him to have Pet Collector. So there. These don't do anything. Pick me, pick me. Are you gonna actually bump? Well, now he, no, he can't. Whoa, I did not see that coming. So this is gonna get destroyed though now. But I'm pretty sure he's just dead now. This is 16, so I can bump here, I can bump here, I can start bumping here, yeah it's exact, right, uh, it's actually more than exact. <clears throat> so we're gonna, we're gonna return the favor here and uh, rope this guy, don't, don't be like that guys, like, just play the turns out. Don't don't sit there and keep roping, especially at Diamond. Like you're not accomplishing anything here at Diamond. But just remember, you get what you put out. And this guy's getting getting the old comeuffins here. Actually, uh, we don't. Uh, we do have a secret. So it'd be two on. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's. Let's see what he had working with here, alright. Alright. Interesting game. Some poor deck choices, I think, for deck decisions for my opponent. Like, School Teacher has been getting cut lately. More people are playing like cards like Aralon or something else. I'm kind of like trying to think, like, what else would even be good in this deck? I know, like, people aren't playing. Deathstalker Rexar anymore. That fad's done with with the Frozen Throne. And this hand's like pretty good. But we're against Druid, which is going to be rough, I think. Depending on what Druid it is. Um, so, like... I don't know what else you would play in place of that. I don't know if there's anything else. I know people were playing like the... Uh, Three mana, three four that infuses wall cards that are already in your deck while it's on the field. But maybe some playing something like Stag Charge. I'm just thinking like a little bit more spell interaction because Hunter just doesn't have a lot of other interaction other than minions and Okani almost assuredly gets played. 
on minion it seems like a hundred percent of the time unless we're unless you're against druid and it's earlier in the game <clears throat> this is gonna be a, a really nice curve you gotta be scrappy with traps. I just hope it's good enough to get there I'm gonna play this next turn yeah I don't think those spells are good enough. I'm probably gonna do this next turn. Deathborn is gonna be Ooh. well. I can. Hopefully, he doesn't have Guff, but I have a feeling he has Guff. He has a kept card all the way to his left. Maybe, or maybe he has Nourish, probably, though, here. Yeah. Does allow me to draw two cards. Alright. So maybe we can start messing up his game plan here. I know We know he has a draw three in his hand. This is fine. Like, I, I want him to clear stupid, like, Duder. Counterspell. I guess we just take the Avenge. Man, kind of stinks. Uh, reconnaissance could be really good, but I think... The stage of the game that we're at right now, we are... 100% in this mode. Beer. Nice. So we know he has brand, earthen skills, unknown. And the unknown's the far card. Moonlight Good. It's probably one of the better cards that he could have because you can go get like Tobier again if he needs to. And he gets another Seedsman with this. Hey, where'd he get this from? We saw all of his cards, right? Almost. Divine Toll. Ooh, actually... Alright. Where you followed? Probably gonna take the counter spell, even though we can't play it this turn. As long as he doesn't get like a nourish off of this. We know he has two seedsman cards, and we know he has a card. This is fine. Like, he's going to see a lot of nothing. <laughs> what do you end up taking? What was the card that was on the far? It was Counterspell. Alright, so he's worried about Counterspell. So I kind of want to trade and play the Divine Toll. We're going to do here, actually. And then we're going to play the Divine Toll. Pretty soon cold or this. I take the Plot of Sin. Let's muddy the waters. Oh, it's Party Up! Why did we... Now I'm just going to do this. Wow, these were terrible. I mean, it doesn't really matter if he has, like, skill. Because, like, I'm going to... Why did this look like Divine Toll? 
it looked like Divine Toll for like the entirety of the game. So you have like Bran Tobier. Is that what it is? Okay, good. He's playing Moonlight Guidance. Maybe it'll play Bad Card, hopefully. Just Seedsman again. Or this. This is fine. Do I ever kill one? Hold on, let's reconnaissance here. <clears throat> kill one. Alright, so we kill one, make one. Do that. What are my chances of it like hitting a spell here? It has to be pretty good, right? And I have to get I have to be a little bit greedy here now. Nice. Smell you. Time's ticking. Do I shadow step this now? Do I start slapping? I start slapping these. Now I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right here, actually. I don't shadow step one of these. I let it go, because I want it. Man, he's got They always have a guff. The gufferinos. The guff man. Of man coming. Wonder if he attacks this. I don't have anything that can get something off the bottom of the deck, right? This is counter spell, so I'm just gonna rum this into the counter spell. Run this into this, this into this. Counter spell, oh my god. Alright, let me just do this. Do this. Do this. Say go, and then if he has the other spreading plague, we're in trouble. If not, we're good to go. We just have too clunky of a hand, it seemed like. Just never ending seedsmen's. I need a counter spell with this, I think. Or an objection. Ooh, an objection would be really good now. Nice. I don't know if it'll be enough. But it's definitely what the doctor ordered here. He only has one scales left. Nice. Get bent.
Deserve that game. Hasta la vista, baby.